What would really happen if Singapore stopped importing water from Malaysia in the year 2025? Would the city-state dry up overnight, or has Singapore quietly prepared for this day all along? This is a question that sparks debates, fears and admiration across Southeast Asia, because for decades water has been both a lifeline and a symbol of independence for Singapore. In this video, we'll dive deep into the possible outcomes if Singapore were to stop buying raw water from Malaysia, exploring the political tension, economic resilience and technological innovation that define Singapore's water story. From history to future survival, let's uncover what could truly happen if the taps from Johor were turned off today. The Historical Water Agreement – A Foundation of Survival Singapore's dependence on Malaysia for water dates back to agreements signed in 1961 and 1962, when Singapore was still part of Malaysia. These agreements allowed Singapore to import raw water from Johor at an extremely low price, in exchange for selling treated water back to Malaysia. For decades, this deal formed the backbone of Singapore's water security. However, this agreement was never just about water, it was about sovereignty, Water has always been a sensitive issue in Malaysia, Singapore relations. The idea that Malaysia could turn off the tap became a political threat more than once. But Singapore, instead of panicking, began using this vulnerability as motivation. It built an entire national strategy around never being dependent again. By the early 2000s, Singapore invested heavily in its four national taps, a visionary plan to achieve water independence, Yet even in 2025, about 40% of Singapore's water still comes from Malaysia. So cutting that supply would create serious challenges in the short term, especially for industries, homes and public facilities. But long term, Singapore's story might surprise you. The rise of water independence. Singapore's smart preparation. Singapore's journey towards self-sufficiency is nothing short of a technological miracle. When the country realized its vulnerability, it didn't wait for crisis, it acted decades in advance. Through PUB, the National Water Agency, Singapore developed a system called the Four National Taps, local catchment water, imported water, new water, and desalinated water. New water, which is treated wastewater purified to drinking standards, now meets up to 40% of Singapore's daily demand. By 2030, Singapore aims to increase that to 55%. Meanwhile, desalination, turning seawater into drinkable water, already supplies up to 30% of the nation's needs. If Singapore stops importing from Malaysia in 2025, these systems will need to handle the full demand. That's a challenge, but not impossible. Singapore's desalination plants are among the most advanced in Asia, using cutting-edge membrane and energy recovery systems, Though production costs may rise, Singapore's ability to sustain itself is proof that the nation has turned vulnerability into strength. The economic shockwave. Can Singapore handle the cost? The biggest impact of cutting off Malaysian water would be economic. Water might seem simple, but it fuels every major sector, from semiconductor factories to food processing and even the port industry. A sudden loss of imported water would raise operational costs, affecting Singapore's competitiveness. Currently, Malaysia sells raw water to Singapore at less than one Malaysian sen per thousand gallons, practically free. Replacing that supply with desalinated or new water would multiply the cost several times over. Experts estimate that local production could cost up to five times more than imported water. However, Singapore's strong economy can absorb that cost better than most countries. With a GDP per capita among the world's top 10, Singapore's focus is not on cheap resources, but sustainable ones. Higher prices may trickle down to consumers, but Singaporeans are already used to paying for water conservation. The bigger concern would be industrial competitiveness, especially for water-intensive sectors like chip manufacturing, which require billions of litres of ultra-pure water every year. The political fallout. A new era in Malaysia. Singapore relations. Ending water imports would send political ripples through Southeast Asia. The Malaysia-Singapore water relationship has been both cooperative and tense. If Singapore decides to stop importing water, it would mark the symbolic end of a chapter in their intertwined history. 
For Malaysia, it could mean losing a steady source of revenue, albeit small, and influence over its neighbour. For Singapore, it would mean asserting full sovereignty and independence from any external water control. Some political analysts believe this could improve relations in the long term, as it removes one of the most sensitive issues between both nations. In a region where natural resources often create conflict, Singapore's ability to end this dependency peacefully would demonstrate maturity and long-term vision. The two nations could then focus on trade, investment and climate cooperation rather than old disputes. The Technological Triumph how innovation replaces dependency. Singapore's secret weapon has always been innovation. If the Malaysian supply stopped in 2025, Singapore's water tech industry would immediately step into high gear. The country already leads the world in membrane research, water recycling and smart water management. New water plants can recycle used water five times more efficiently than traditional systems. Real-time sensors monitor the entire island's pipelines to detect leaks or contamination within seconds. Even rainfall is harvested through smart drainage systems that channel stormwater into reservoirs. Singapore's goal has always been zero waste, zero shortage. While the cost of innovation is high, the country has turned water into an exportable skill. Dozens of Singaporean firms now sell water technology to other nations, including China, India, and the Middle East, if Malaysia's water supply ends, Singapore would not only survive but prove to the world that innovation can outlast dependence. Environmental Challenges The Hidden Strain of Self-Sufficiency While technological independence sounds ideal, it comes with environmental costs. Desalination and wastewater recycling require large amounts of energy, which could increase Singapore's carbon footprint. The island already faces challenges balancing sustainability with industrial demand. To solve this, Singapore is investing in solar-powered desalination and using AI-driven energy management to reduce consumption. However, without Malaysian water, the strain on local reservoirs and desalination facilities would increase dramatically, especially during dry seasons. This means Singapore would have to rely more on green energy and even consider importing renewable power from neighbours. Water independence would be a double-edged sword, giving control but demanding greater environmental responsibility. The social impact. How citizens would adapt. Singaporeans are known for their discipline and adaptability. If Malaysia's water supply were to stop, the government would likely launch new public campaigns to encourage water conservation. The message would be clear, every drop counts. Singaporeans have long been educated about water's value through campaigns like Save Water and Water Wally. In the short term, citizens might face higher bills and stricter usage controls, especially during dry months. But over time, Singapore's culture of resilience would turn this challenge into a national success story, much like how the country overcame housing shortages, lack of land and limited resources in the past. Global Lessons How the world views Singapore's strategy If Singapore stops importing water and still thrives, it would send a powerful message to the world. Size doesn't limit success, mindset does. Other small nations facing resource scarcity could learn from Singapore's foresight and discipline. The United Nations has already praised Singapore as a model for sustainable urban water management. Countries like Israel and the Netherlands collaborate with Singapore to test new water technologies. By 2025, if Singapore stands fully independent, it could become the global hub for water innovation, exporting solutions instead of importing resources. The nation that turned scarcity into strength so what happens if Singapore stops importing water from Malaysia in 2025? It won't be the end, it will be a new beginning. There might be short-term shocks, higher costs and political shifts, but in the long run, Singapore will emerge stronger, smarter and more independent than ever before. Water has always been more than just a necessity in Singapore, it's a symbol of national willpower. From a vulnerable island dependent on others, to a global leader in water sustainability. Singapore has shown the world that true independence isn't given, it's built. 
So the next time you see a glass of water in Singapore, remember, it's not just water. It's the story of a nation that refused to depend on anyone else for its survival.